Alright, hello, welcome to this post Isaiah update. It's Isaiah's update, I should say. Uh, and right, we're going to first get started with the train. Some good news, but not for the main line. No. Uh, they have restored service on the Babylon, Far Rockaway, Long Beach, and Port Washington branches. The Hempstead branch has limited eastbound service. All other branches remain suspended. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, you know, obviously the main line is not a priority. See how things have changed. I remember when Sandy hit and the Ron Conkerman branch was the first branch up. Uh, that was before any of this favoritism was going on. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Just, just, just putting that out there. Uh, that's all. Um, the main line really should have been up by now. It's, uh, it's, it's ridiculous. It should have been up. It better be up by the morning. Uh. Um, it better be up by the morning because this this is not right. Uh, however, there was uh, there was uh, a delayed train at Massapequa Park due to debris on the tracks, um, and, and I don't know if the trains are running east of Babylon. That's a good question. I don't know. Uh, if we look at the service here, you will see delays, no service, service change, essential service, service change, essential service, but. Yep, main line is still suspended, folks. Uh, so, yep, yeah, well, main line, it's just, you know, what can I tell you? Um, all right, so the other thing we're going to talk about here, Village of Rockville Center actually has a village-wide power outage, actually. Uh, they say here uh, they are they are powering up their own generation, but uh, for the most part, much of the problem relies on the PSEG Long Island uh, transmission lines that have uh, went down. So it's a 34.5 kilovolt circuit that serves Rockville Center, and it is down. Uh, and uh, uh, that is why. And they're supposed to have their own generation, but it's only enough to power a very small part of the village, apparently, uh, which is ridiculous in my opinion. But yeah, Rockville Center, uh, obviously, having some issues. So like I said, the South Shore does not avoid the power outages, but it seems like it's always a priority getting the getting their service restored uh, so uh, when we look at these stories from News 12 Long Island uh, they're all on the South Shore um, all of them uh, every single one of them we've been through this before Lindenhurst Amityville assesses damage strong waves pound Long Beach into part of a roof into a nursing home uh, down wires from Isaiah so uh, the hardest hit areas let's see now, when I play the video, they're not going to be in the middle of the island. They're going to be on the south shore because, again, that's all that seems to matter. Let me try to get this up here. Waiting for it to play. Just hang in there. Neighborhood after neighborhood across this island saying they are in the dark tonight. Yeah, hundreds of thousands of Long Islanders are powerless Tonight, Isaias has left a trail of toppled trees and down power lines all over Nassau and Suffolk. It has taken hours for PSEG to give us and you, the viewers, updated outage numbers. We do have team coverage of the aftermath of Isaias with meteorologist Samantha Jerry. Christina Reynolds has the damage and cleanup. Virginia Huey is in Northport in Thunderbolt 12. But we begin first with Eileen LaPalmer. She is in Bayshore with more on those 330,000 outages across the island. Eileen. Well, as you said, we are hours into this now, hours after the... So, South the Shore, Shore you know, the, all the reporters, uh, and they spent very little time with in, in Northport. That was the only area that wasn't on the South Shore. But all, everything was just the South Shore, the South Shore, the South Shore. That's what we call them, News 12 South Shore. Anyway, um, not a whole lot of improvement here in these power outages numbers. Still 331,825 people without power. Uh, with um, with PSEG Long Island and uh, like I said large areas looks like a one of these transmission lines went down uh, that feeds uh, Rockville Center and I have a feeling apparently whatever they were able to get to restore the Babylon line I know that feeds the Babylon line so maybe Rockville Center has that will get their power back shortly if they haven't gotten it back already uh, but of course it is a priority the South Shore because it is just a, it's what it is. It's the South Shore. It's more important than other parts of Long Island, apparently, or so. So everybody thinks. But still, a, a lot of power outages. So I don't really see them getting any special treatment from PSEG Long Island. However, 
they do seem to be getting special treatment from the Long Island Railroad, of course, uh, getting their power back. Uh, large outage here in Garden City. Uh, we still have those outages around East Wilston and Albertson. Um, they haven't been restored yet. Um, let's work further north here. This is still all down here. Yeah, this is all down. I mean, it's pretty much this whole northern part of the town of Oyster Bay is still pretty much out due to transmission line failure here uh, at this uh, point. I don't know why the hell they don't put big metal poles along to serve this area. Um, because it seems like their power is always going out there. One of my viewers is like, the power always goes out on the North Shore. I know, it's horrible. Looks like a good part of Glen Cove has no power, including the hospital as well. So, uh, the Sea Cliff has no power. Yeah, pretty much everybody in this whole... This is a transmission outage in this area, so um, uh, the whole that transmission line went down that serves that whole area, and that's why that's all out. And uh, like I said, I'm focusing mainly on Nassau here. So um, if we go to outages by area, we'll show you, and I'll filter it down a little more so you can see uh, what we're, we're talking about here in a minute. And I'll just close that News 12 window because it's causing my computer to run slow. So if we look at the town of, we'll start with the town of North Hempstead. All right, because that's the town I'm in. You can see Albertson. Uh, these are the percentage points here off to the right. So you can see some of these towns have very high percentages. East Wollaston has a high percentage out. Uh, Garden City Park has a fairly high percentage out. Great Neck has a fairly high percentage out. Great Neck Estates as well. Uh, large parts of Great Neck. Uh, Harbor Hills. So the North Shore is really bad with the power going out. 74% of Lake Success is out. 63% of Newcastle is out. Um, Mineola, uh, Mineola only has about 20% out. Um, so Mineola is fortunate we don't have it done. Like I said we got we got lucky. Uh, it could have been a lot worse uh, compared to a lot of the risks. Port Washington's 73% out. Uh, University Guard. So hasn't really been a whole lot of restoration going on. Uh, PSCG is response is, seems kind of slow. Uh, but we'll compare it with some of the other utilities. Obviously, this was a bad storm, and I don't want to, you know, you know, people are going to be mad at them because the power went out. This was a bad storm. The power is going to go out when you have a storm like this. So Bayville, oh, Bayville is pretty much blacked out. Uh, we're looking at the town of Oyster Bay. Uh, Brookville is blacked out for the most part, 97% there. 92%, uh, actually 97% in Bayville, 92% in Brookville. Uh, Center Island is blacked out. Um, Cold Spring Harbor is blacked out. Cove Neck, East Hills, uh, East Norwich is 100%. All the customers in East Norwich are out. Uh, I know one of my viewers is in Oyster Bay, so they probably have no power. 50% uh, of Glen Cove is out. You know, nearly 50% of Glen Head is out. 78% um, of Laddingtown. Uh, interesting. Mass Peak only 22%. Of course, the when you look at the percentages, the South Shore affairs better. Of course, Matanacock, Milneck, Mutton Town, all mostly out. Uh, Oyster Bay Cove, Oyster Bay Hamlet, 83%. So mostly, most of these areas are completely out. Sea Cliff, 72% of Sea Cliff is out, and 94% uh, of Brookville is out. Pretty much the whole thing. All right, Town of Hempstead. Atlantic Beach, hardly anyone out. Let's see. Uh, Baldwin Harbor, 50% of Baldwin Harbor is out. 92% of Bay Park is out. 95% of Belrose Terrace is out. Uh, I'm only going the, over the higher numbers. 58% uh, of East Rockaway is out. So some of these areas in the South Shore got hit hard. Freeport, all right, they only have 19 customers in Freeport, but I have a feeling that one customer might represent the village. So... Uh, Freeport might have a village-wide blackout as well because of that power line going down. Garden City South. Uh, Garden City doesn't seem to be too hit too hard. Hewlett, 38%. Um, let's see how Belmore fared. Belmore. Only 4.79% four, only 4 out in Belmore. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, how about Levittown? Uh, 29, almost 30% there. 40% in Malvern Park. What about Lindbrook? Uh, Lindbrook only 12% out. Uh, what about Merrick? 
25% uh, of Merrick out, 54% uh, of Roosevelt is out, 80% of Salisbury, which is Southern Westbury, is out. South Hampstead is almost completely out, more or less a blackout there. Is Rockville Central listed here? Yep, 75%. So I think that that one customer might, might be the village. So, like I said, they've lost the, the transmission lines that go into that area. All right, let's go into the Suffolk area. Right, Rockway Peninsula has a few ads, but they, they haven't been hit that hard. Again, there aren't that many trees there. Or, I mean, uh, I, I don't know. They, they are, so let's look at the Babylon town here in Suffolk County. Uh, see, look at the hardest hit areas there. So it looks like a fairly large outage in Amityville. Um... Let's see. Let's see, not too many, not too many high percentages in, uh, over there. I don't see too many areas in the Babylon town, except for Amityville, that were uh, hit hard. Let's go look at Brookhaven. Uh, let's see the percentages there. Right, we got a 50% in East Shoreham, a 68% outage in Farmingville. Fire Island has <laughs> hardly any. Uh, Fire Island didn't lose power at all. Unbelievable. A uh, 54% outage in Gordon Heights, Holtzville, 53%, 62% outage in Lake Grove, 71% in Mastic Beach, 90% in Miller Place is out, 74% in Mount Sinai is out, 93% in Old Field is out, um, and 91% of Smith Point is out. Smith Point, I guess that's Southern Mastic Beach or whatever. Uh, so talk it. Six, oh, nearly 60% of people are out. Sailors Haven, hardly anything. Port Jefferson Station, 50%. Port Jefferson, 40%. Poquot, 47%. Um, but yeah, South Shore just, you know, yeah, I mean, the statistics have the South Shore faring better with power outages so far from what we've seen. East Hampton has hardly any outages as well. I don't think the wind was as bad on the forks. All right, Huntington Town. Uh, yeah, Asherokan, Centerport, Cold Spring Harbor, all almost completely out. More or less, almost a nearly complete blackout there, as well as Eaton's Neck, Fort Salonga, uh, Huntington, uh, says 60% out, uh, Lloyd Harbor, Melville is not that, Melville got off easy, Northport, uh, Northport, half of Northport is out, uh, so, but these, some of these areas are really hard hit, and News 12 didn't go to them at all. Uh, which, again, they only care about the South Shore. They were in Bay Shore where 24% of people are out of power. It's not that much. Uh, should have gone to Brentwood where it's 36.99% uh, or Central Islip where it's nearly 40%. East Islip has 55% uh, of their people out of power. Uh, Great River, Hop Hog, 50, 50 to 55% of people without power. Oakdale, 60%. So some of these areas on the South Shore did get hit hard. Um, Ronkonkoma, not that hit that hard. Sayville, 43% of Sayville's out. And West Bay Shore, 53% of West West Bay Shore is out. And West Sayville, 78% out. So they were hit pretty hard. Uh, all right, Riverhead, 18.65% uh, in Riverhead. I'm not going to go over town. I'm just going over the harder hits. One Smithtown. Um... Fort Salonga, again, very hit, very hard. Hop Park, also 64%. Head of the Harbor, almost 89% out. Uh, Nissaquag and St. James, 92%, 97%. So, could be transmission. But it's also affecting the village of the branch, too. So, probably transmission line down in that area as well. Okay. Now that we're through with that, we can return to the map. And I am going to go to Jersey Central Power and Light. See, oh, that's not no, no, that's not what I want. It's not what I want. Let's look at this and see how JCPNL is doing. Yeah, they haven't made much progress either. Uh, so, like I said, it's just a lot of damage out there, and I think they're not really going to be able to start working on it big time until tomorrow. Um, uh, but, yeah, a lot of people out of power in, in these areas. So, if we can go, we, we can look a little bit here at, uh, I think we did already look at JCPNL, so I'm not going to look at them again. Uh, but anyway, yep, 
the Babylon branch is running. And we go look at, at the Maya Little R, but here in Mineola, we have no service. You'll see. Actually, it has this, it'll just have zero minutes. It actually does have the trains running, but I know they're not running. Because uh, it just says zero minutes. So if we hit the back button here, uh, we can hit view all stations here. And we can go to Penn Station, and it'll show all the trains that have, le have left Penn Station. You can see on the board all we have is Long Beach, Port Washington, and Babylon. And that's it. No South Shore. I mean, no, I, no, no, nothing in the middle of the island. It's all South Shore and the Port Washington branch. So, uh, you know, it's all of the Marcus favorite. You know, who are the favorites? You can see who the favorites are. Uh, the middle of the island doesn't count for anything. Uh, so uh, that is going to be it for this update here on the uh, aftermath of uh, Zeus. Uh, it's 1 a.m. Have a good night, everybody.